Are you interested in playing Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl into your PC if you don't have a Switch but want to try out this game because you have not played the old version which is the Pokemon Pearl and Diamond? So if you are interested in this, then please do watch this guide because I'm going to teach you everything that you need to get started. So first of all is that you will need to have all the files that I have highlighted here in my desktop because they are really important and also you will need to install an application called User. So for those who are new and who didn't know, Yuzi is a Nintendo Switch emulator. It can play any Nintendo Switch games at your PC as long as you have all these files here installed in Yuzi emulator. So this is the latest public build of Yuzi emulator, which is version 17066 as of recording this video tutorial. So I'm just going to show you guys that I have Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And they are in version 1.3.0 and they are in XCI file type and these are the base game of the game. So you can see here they are in XCI file format so that user will be able to detect them. But before I show you on the settings of user emulator, I'm just going to show you first, teach you first where to get user emulator officially. And to do that, just open a web browser and search it up in Google search and type in user emulator and hit search and go to uzamu.org. That is our official website, so be sure to click on that, then click on the download button. And then go to the Android section. So if you ever have a powerful or the latest Android 11 mobile device or higher, then you can be able to play uh, the Switch games into your Android phone. And uh, there are two versions of Yuzu emulator, by the way, uh, which is true for Windows, Linux, and Android, the free version of Yuzu and the early access version of Yuzu. The early access version of Yuzu will require you to pay one time and that will help the developers massively in developing Yuzu emulator and you'll get an early access update a week or two than the free version. So if you can wait a week or two, then the free version is just fine for you to install. So for those who are in Linux to download the latest build is just click on this icon here. And for those who are in Windows, just click on this icon here or click on the download for Windows 64 button here. So since I have already installed this into my Windows 11 PC and it runs perfectly in Windows 11. So I'm just going to skip on this part because the download and installation process is really easy to do and any newbie can do this. So please go ahead, click on it, download it and just follow through the instructions in installing uh, using emulator into your PC. So I'm just going to skip on that part now and I'm just going to assume that you have already done that and that you have user emulator now. So go ahead, open user emulator and then it's time to install some files in user emulator because without these files that I've highlighted here, user emulator is useless and will not be able to run any Switch game. So what are these files? These files are the Nintendo Switch keys and the Nintendo Switch firmware. Both should be in version 17 so that user emulator will be able to detect uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and all of the previously released uh, Switch games and to be released Switch games. And the game fo file formats of the game should be in XCI or NSB file format so that user emulator will be able to detect them. Okay, so if you're asking me now on how to get all these files, the most legal way to do this is that you own a Nintendo Switch console, which we have fully modded or meaning that you have uh, made your Nintendo Switch into homebrew and once you have homebrew, that means that you can now fully access your Nintendo Switch system files and all you have to do is just look for the keys and the firmware file of the Switch and then transfer them into your PC. Now to get the game, there's no other way around this guys, but you should purchase the game legally, own the physical copy of the game or a digital copy of the game. And once you have done that, um, all you have to do is just uh, digitally back it up into an XCI or NSP file format. Now for those who don't own a Switch, but want to try out and play this game, all you have to do guys is just follow this QR code that I am putting on the screen, scan it with your QR code reader into your mobile phone so that you'll be redirected to the page where you can visit and get a copy of each files. So once you're on the site, be sure to check out the entirety of the website, okay? And get a copy of each files of it and then transfer them either into your Android phone or into your PC. So I'm just going to assume now guys that you have a copy of these files now. So it's time to install them in use the emulator. So go ahead, open use the emulator, go to file, Go to open easy folder and then locate keys folder open that folder then open the keys zip file and the desktop the next step to do is just copy drag and drop product keys and title keys into this folder here and if this is your first installation then this folder should be empty once done close in this the next step is to install the firmware file go to file again open easy folder and then locate nan folder n-a-n-d system folder contents folder and then register folder open the firmware file and the desktop Select all the files that is inside, copy, and paste them into this folder here. 
And again, this folder should be empty because it's your first installation and this will copy all of the firmware file of the switch now into your user layer so that it will function as a switch into your PC. So once done, all you have to do now is just close in this folder now. Now your Yuzu is now capable of detecting and playing Switch games now. So the next step is to update your Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl into the latest version, which is version 1.3.0. And to update that, just go to File, Install Files to NAND. Click on that. And then locate this folder file here, just like mine. I have put my uh, game files into the desktop for you to see. So uh, it depends on to you where and you save these files. For me, it's here. So I'm just going to click on that and I'm just going to sh uh, choose Shining Pearl to update first. I'm just going to hit open and it will say to install it. Click on that so that the Shining Pearl version will be updated to version 1.3.0. So once the update is done, hit OK and it will refresh the user emulator page. And let's search for Pokemon Shining Pearl and Brilliant Diamond here. And if you have the other version, just update them just like what I have uh, taught you guys. So the next step now is to update your user emulator into uh, its best setting. And let's optimize user emulator now by following my settings here. So be sure to pause the video and copy every setting that you see here. So just go to emulation and hit configure. And in this part, just be sure to pause the video and copy every setting that you see here. Okay. Now in system section, um, you can change to whatever you like, but the core section, it should remain as it is. CPU set to auto, graphics set to Vulkan, best setting for playing these games. Resolution scale is in two times solution. The higher the resolution, the better the game will look like. And if your PC cannot ever handle two times solution, then one time solution will be uh, the best thing to do because this is the base solution of the Switch. And if your PC cannot ever handle that, then just revert to a higher resolution scale, which is 0.5 resolution. But for me, two time solution is the best. Now in advance, I've set my settings here. Be sure to pause the video and copy every setting that you see here. In audio, really simple settings, copy them. In controls, it's better to use a controller rather than a mouse and keyboard when playing Switch games, so be sure to do that. Connect your Pro Controller, just like mine, or an Xbox or PlayStation controller. Connect them to your PC, map them up to your liking. But the dead zone for both left and right sticks should be set in 20% so that there'll be no drifting into your playthroughs. So be sure to change that. And once you have done that, hit OK. Congratulations, your user emulator now is fully optimized to run and play any Switch games into your PC, such as Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So a little bit of a disclaimer, I'll not be able to show you guys a gameplay of this game running to my PC because we all know how strict Nintendo is and they don't support this kind of content. That's why you cannot see any YouTuber out there um, showing a gameplay running of this using an emulator because their channel will be taken down and that's why i won't show you a gameplay guys and i hope you guys do understand all that part but i am willing to compromise a little bit to show you proof that this video trail is working that's why i'm going to boot up pokemon training pro into the title screen of the game so once i am in the title screen of the game i'm just going to stop the emulation from there and also i'm just going to blur the screen from here and out so that nintendo will not be able to hit me with any of their copyright strikes or copyright claims into my channel and guys please do understand that's why I can't show you any gameplay at all. So, it's starting to boot up now. So, this is a title screen of Shining Pearl, so I'm just going to stop the emulation from here. So, as long as you have followed all the steps that I've shown you in this guide, you'll be able to play Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl into your PC with no issues at all, no graphical glitches, nor crashes. So, if you have some questions regarding the installation process of this game into your PC, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer all of them as fast as I can. Please do subscribe to my channel. This will help me out. Thank you for watching. See you next time and goodbye for now.